Let's do this. Uh, hopefully this is the one that we haven't... Alright, this is the one that we already did. Woe is me. Uh, the next one. Spirit of the Wish. For ghosts, there you are. There you are. A trembling spirit wrings his hands, his eyes darting around the room. They settle on you. What, what are you doing here? What do you want? You mustn't linger, you mustn't remain. Go to there can be no reason. This is not a place for reason. This is a place to be forgotten. Go one. His hands shake. He clears his throat. As a priest, I had a patient. A dastardly demon held him in its grasp. The demon absorbed all his pain. In exchange for his soul. I was certain we'd only diminish the demon by overwhelming my patient with pain. Hmm? I planned to torture the demon until it gave up its grip over the poor fellow. I began in earnest, but his cries pierced my heart. Even if the treatment could save him, I hadn't the stomach nor the soul for it. So I lied to the others. I told them there was no helping him. I told them to seal us down here, where he could do no harm where I could guard his prison. Better one soul damned than two. Go one. This demon gluts itself on pain. Only the utmost torture would draw him forth. I couldn't do it. I refused to subject myself or my comrades to such... such barbarism. If you've the stomach for such an ungodly task, I won't keep you from it. Perhaps you could inflict the pain that's needed. But it is a devil's business. We broke the lever for the door when we locked him inside, so that none would ever attempt to free him. No matter what, the demon itself must not be freed. The horrors he would wreak upon our world. All right, tell me how to fix it. It's the silver shaft that's missing. There's an anvil where silver can be properly melted. That ought to do it. Hey. Is there an anvil in here? These weren't here before. You know what? I, I did not alt. Not alt in here. Where's your bags, man? All right. Read those in the wrong order. Life is hard. Alright, so we need a silver shaft. Can I even craft a silver shaft? Okay. Need an anvil. Here. Where would we find There's one that we cannot use. 
Got word from the factory that another boat went down. Things ain't looking good. Yeah. You suppose the Madison will get rid of the void woken any time soon? Ooh, would have an anvil that we could... Doubt it. Now they've got that hellacious general in charge. What do they call her? The axe? The hammer. Hope you're wrong. Time will tell, I suppose. I don't know where we can find an anvil. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Yeah, legit, no. Effie's an Orium. Oh. Could be worse, you know. Uh. I guess we can check on the ship. That might have one. Damn, we need to talk to you. Aren't you supposed to be off learning how to become the divine and whatnot? You're fine, sucker. Anvil, here we go. Let's go back, talk to Homeboy Slice. That information for me. So I find the Blood Moon. There we go. Wish you could double click on that. Is this how much time lost? You should go from here. This is no place for the living, for the sane. His hands shake. He clears his throat. As a priest, I had a patient. I planned, to, so I lied to the odd. Better one so this demon gluts. If you've the stomach for such an un, we broke the lever for the door when we locked him in. Hey. You should go from here. This demon, if you've the stomach for, we broke the lever for the door when we locked him inside, so that none would ever attempt to free him, no matter what. The Hey, well, this is the guy. I know he said silver, and I know he said anvil. We'll go... Go to this one. The first one visited. Alt reveals nothing. The spirit of a priest lifts his eyes to yours. When he speaks, he rasps as if there were dust in his voice. I watched the gate. Who goes there? The one? I watched the gate. I watched the one who must be watched. I watched the one who should be dead but can only be chained. I watched the gate. You must leave. The gate is locked forever. The lock is broken. The key is thrown away. I have an idea. Check out the, uh... We're gonna go to the forge, I think it was. Maybe we can melt the silver? And if we melt the silver, maybe we go to an anvil from there? Doesn't make any sense, I know.
The great forge is black with a sort of ancient work. Inside. Oh. oh. Gives us the, uh, whatchamacallit. Nice. Ooh. Excellent. We can use this shaft to open one of the vault doors. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to say, in of itself, that doesn't really make that much sense. But if that is solely used for that, then, you know, I guess it makes sense. She could totally kill one of these guys. The She's got a... Uh... What the heck? What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Okay, so now we can do this. The lever part of the lock mechanism. Fix it. A presence accosts you. You cannot see it, yet know it is there. It is in front of you, then behind, then finally within. You hear its whispers. The master must teach you, so that you may become a master in turn. And then it is gone. Nothing. There's got to be more to it. Not to you again? I watched the gate. I watched the gate. You must leave. The one who must be chained will take your soul. Do not let it speak. Do not let it speak to you. No. You must leave. You must not speak to it. You must not speak to the one who must be chained. It will steal your soul. It will steal your very soul. Strength. Oh. No. No, you. You are one of it. I'm in. That's a quest. A little. Yeah, it is. Supposed to. All is done. The lever part of the lock. That in there. It's not working. There's something to this I'm not seeing. You should go from here. This is no place for the living, for the sane. Go three. My vigil is eternal. It won't cease until I'm convinced. Truly convinced. Something might change for the better. For now. We remain as we must, stuck between action and inaction, watching, waiting. Okay, I have an idea. Go to the Lady Vengeance. Talk to home homeboy Slice. There's a home chick Slice. Talk to little kid. I probably shouldn't have quick saved right there, but whatever. The little girl doesn't acknowledge your presence. She remains locked away somewhere deep within her own mind. you get something like that huh? do we have anything that cures sleeping work okay 
Well, life is hard. Dead. No. Talk to him. Let him know that we completed the quest. Thanks. Well, for a second there, I thought he wasn't here. How fair is the hunt, my friend? Uh, do that. May you wonder. I uh, hope everything will turn out good in the end. I hope so too. Uh, the range skills I haven't been too happy with. So before I do all this. We're gonna load the quick save. And what what we're gonna do is we're gonna go well, we're gonna finish this guy's quest thing. We're gonna go back to town, check out all the new skill books that we have access to. Buy whatever, buy new gear, because we desperately need new gear. And then um then we can test out whether going back to scoundrel is a good idea or not. Um, cause the, the other, the other rogues in this game do a lot of damage, big damage. How fair is the hunt, my friend? Right, we killed the advocate, man. He smiles brightly and pulls you in for a short, if warm embrace. You've done me proud, Godwoken. Prouder than you could ever realize. I know how twisted the paths can get. How much more alluring the sunny glade than the rock-strewn hollows. But you know it's the darkest roads that lead to light. It will be my honor to teach you. The nature of my lesson, though, might be somewhat different from what you expect. I can deepen your bond with the Source. But you must realize that this bond comes at a cost. All life, after all, sustains itself by consumption. Like the grass feeds the herd, and the herd feeds the hunter. So you must feed, for instance, on bees. He waves a hand to the cage in demonstration. I don't care about those guys. Kill them. Uh, let's go too. Let's uh, that'll give us a little bit more information, probably. Don't let their less than inviting appearance mislead you. Just like the slithering worm feeds the high soaring bird, the abundance of source in these demons can expand your own through demise, a chance of divinity. Are you ready? Absolutely. Kill those demons. Who cares about some demons? Kill them all. That's right. Then let us begin. Jahan's incantations befog your mind. All of you is thumping blood, pumping, pumping, pumping. Then all you hear, then all that is, is screaming. From the cage to you, their blood in your ears, screaming. Silence. Okay. All the birds in my backyard just flew away all the, like, with crazy necessity. That is all. Their sons have set to serve a greater dawn. The world awaits your true awakening. You are very powerful already. A master of the source. But I did not let this burst of power go to waste. It lies condensed on parchment for you to read and learn. He hands you a book, hot to the touch, a sparkle with source. <sighs> I 
Come on, man. My pleasure. And now that the lesson has ended, there is one more matter I would like to discuss. Offer you a chance to deepen our alliance. You see, the demon that you killed, the Advocate, he had a master. Are you going to tell me that you're the master? You might say the Advocate compared to his master like the pussycat compares to the tiger. It is the tiger I am truly hunting. Okay. Good. Birds need to calm down, man. Uh, the voice acting sounds a little bad. I don't think it sounds that bad. I mean, it's just this guy. There's plenty of other um, voice lines out there that are pretty great. Now, don't you worry. I have no intention of sending you after this arch demon. There are few enough Godwoken as it stands for me to force them into any real danger. The one thing I would like you to do for me, though, is to return through the mist to the Isle of Blood and uncover there his name. Okay, why? A demon's true name is its weakness. Which is why it basks in being known by a thousand different aspects of its inmost self. But such dark magic was wrought upon Blood Moon Island that its inmost self must have been there in its true guise. Exposed so that it could wreak ultimate havoc. That is when its name must have been spoken. And when spoken, heard. Over there, among the blood, in the darkness of the ruins, amid the mangled dead, his name still rings, however faint. For once spoken, the echo of a demon's name never truly fades. Return to the island, Godwoken, and listen. Okay, I can do that. Or maybe it's just the dialogue? Uh, but yeah. There, there, it could be that as well. Um, I'll have to show you some, some other dialogue. to get inside. Oh. Wait. You must be chained. You The spirit of a priest li I watched the gate. Who goes there? Yeah, let's go through these again. I watched the gate. You must leave. The one who must be chained. No. You must leave. You must not speak to it. You must not speak to the one who must be chained. It will steal your soul. It will steal your very soul. Come on, wits. No. No. The spirit of a... Pr I watched the game. I watched the... You must leave. No. You must intelligence. Leave. You must not speak to it. You... No. No. I need like persuasion or something. Two. I just need more persuasion. One here. But it's too late. You're the last person. The spirit of a priest. I watched the gate. 
You must leave. The one who must be chained. No. You must leave. No. Let's go back over here. Got demonic master. Blessings be, it's good to control my own mind. Not much more than she made it. I'm not sure that even my voice. I guess we're supposed to learn the name from the advocate who we were supposed to kill? That wouldn't be very good. I guess we can go back to the tree. The tree would know. Back to the... What is this secret? That is this. The demon feeds. The demon protects. The demon has an. The demon has a. The demon. It spreadit to Tiraka Que Chilum Sin. Eratu Besekron. Okay, we know her story now. Go one. A moment passes, then you feel it. Clarity. You speak my name. You know my torture. Please, don't judge me for the sickness my roots have spread. I can be free. My soul cleansed. Let's go one. Naivety. Stupidity. Call it what you want. I wish to put the source within me to good use. And demonology seemed as good a use as any. Silly me. I meant to summon an imp or two. Instead, I ended up hosting a damned archdemon. The roaring in my head. The craving for living flesh. Urges. Good gods, the urges to kill, to hurt. The stronger they became, the harder I fought. And at some point, I was just gone. Deadened, but not dead. And then... Awake on an isle I'd never been, encircled by faces I'd never seen, watched by a man I'd never known. They called him Doctor. He shouted strange words, and the demon bellowed. Then, one by one, I. Go one. They fell. I watched my own hands slaughter them. I tried to resist, but I couldn't. And then a final roar, when the demon rushed away and into the only one still standing. The doctor. That was my last living memory. The demon may be gone, but its disease still infects my roots, birthing evil into the surrounding soil. While it lives, I am still its rotting servant. I've suffered. The Isle has suffered, but you can end it. Tell me how. You awakened me from nightmare with a single utterance. My name. How amazing that a name can wield so much power. Got an achievement there. Okay. Remember this lesson when you leave Blood Moon Island. The demon blackens another land now. It possesses the very doctor that liberated it. Speak its name, however, and you expose it. You weaken it. You'll know him when you find him. A doctor that accommodates a demon doesn't see patients, only victims. Destroy it, and you free me to the Hall of Echoes, 
Destroy it, and my roots taint this isle no longer. Now come closer. I'll say the demon's name only once. Let's go one. The spirit's voice is a harsh whisper. Adramalik. Adramalik. <laughs> Heard that one a couple of times. We got the name. We got the name. Unfortunately, I don't know how to free the other people, though. Open the tree would help me. Maybe you still can? Please. I know that was a thing. Now we have to go. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them that I just. Oh my gosh. Yeah, take that. All right. Well, let's go back to Homeboy Slice. Driftwood Fields. We need to go this way. This way. Adramelic. On the road again. We got the name, bruh. We got the name, bruh. It is a dark thing to contemplate a demon's name. Perhaps you can shed light on the matter. Going one. Jahan looks at you utterly flabbergasted, but soon an air of serenity descends upon him, that of a chess player overlooking the board. A dramalik. You have to admire his cunning. To think that in his guise of Deva, he and I shared the finest wines in the realm. Stories of the women we have loved. Thank you, Godwoken. You have done me an unparalleled service, and you've quite humbled me at the same time. You must go your path, I mine, so that I may confront the arch demon in his lair in the great city of Arx. Please accept this token of gratitude. And fare thee well. Ooh. Uh, that doesn't seem like an upgrade for what's his face. That one probably would be. That's four intelligence. Yikes. How? There's no way. No way I can take this dagger knowing that I can get this. Or intelligence. Oh, I thought that was 14,000 gold. I was like, hey. Okay. So, that out of the way, we can go up here, we got a lot of some stuff, I don't think I've been over here, go to the cloister, this thing Hanag is not I read in um in uh one of the tips that you cannot get rid of lava just there. My hero. I'm she offers you a grateful smile. All you sell is oh. 
My crowning glory. No, I bid you farewell. Maybe we didn't. We. No, we definitely did not. Before we go there, actually, there's another altar over here. I don't know what this is all about, but maybe we've triggered something that will help us out. It does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. It... it does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. Oh. Remove that skull there. It... it does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. Well... The way to this other altar. Yep. Gonna say again. We talk to you. A haze of flame and confusion envelops you as the Magister's memories hit. You come for Alice Elysium, the witch, and she flees her home. You capture and crucify her, but she returns to life and burns you all. Oh. Well, that, that was unfortunate. I mean, but, you know. Don't pick fights with people you can't can't take on. Can't go up that tree trunk. I don't know what mommy was, but mommy dead. Oh my gosh, look at the craziness. He's like a bear and a couple wolves and Yo. My lord. My lord. I can't. I can't. Guy. Okay. Gonna summon some dudes. Gonna have to get that high ground. was that thing? Lord, please, Lord, spare me, spare me. It is too much. I heart too much. You, you, you cannot come here. I'm not done. I, I, I. The creature suddenly holds itself around the ears as though seized by a great pain. Several flapping jaws open and close over a single many-fanged moor, like a taxidermist's experiment. Go! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to pray at the altar you're guarding. Come on, man. Uh, we're gonna try one. Go to. His frantic gaze passes from the blood-stained altar to you. Comprehension suddenly clears the agony from his face. He, he wants blood. He wants blood. My lord, I'll give you blood. I'll give it all. I beg you, my lord. Accept. Yep, surprise. Oh, you're taking my source.
Wait, did I read that right? I hope I, I hope I read that right. Okay. Dudes. Vampire. Crazy. What we got? A lot of wool. Up here is safe. Safe ish. If I get to now, I'll have three next turn. Is kind of scaring me. I can't right click on them to figure out what it does. That's bad. Oh, 700 damage? Are you serious? Void Howl. Wow. Wow. 80% damage buff. Um. Oh, he couldn't attack though, so he could only do use teleport. So that was good. Get to draw it. Cool. Oh, cool. Really? Come on, man. Does every freaking wolf in this game able to fly? You know, I, I, I can't. Can't. Oh, you're terrified. That hurts. Oh my gosh. 
Boy house. So bad for me. One problem out of the way. Suck a fool. Come on, man. Three attacks, man. This is pretty nice. Looks like it targets allies too. Oh, you go to sleep. Oh, you don't attack anything. noise outside. Hold on, I'll mute my mic.
All right, noise is gone. Kill it, dead. Abomination guy is pretty crazy. Source orb. Fourteen stuff. Stuff that's unfortunately not very good. It'll it'd sell well. Before you lies a primitive altar to the Seven, apparently constructed during a bygone era. Something about it appeals to you. A faint heat emanating from the stones, perhaps. The altar waits for someone. Before you lies a primitive the altar waits Bet you this is for um a fan. Before you lies the altar wait But I guess it could be for what's her face. The altar to the seven stands alone before you. Faint, comforting heat emanating from the stones themselves calls you forward. Observe the construction, come on man. What's Neil? The air stirs, as though someone had appeared and taken a seat upon the altar. A voice rises around you, its source unclear. Fractured whispers surround you. God woken. The word flutters against your ear. You are my champion. You cannot fail. A jolting sensation pierces your heart. As the shock fades, you realize you've absorbed a modicum of source, seemingly from the air around you. The whispers shuffle away, and the air shifts. Whatever was here a moment ago is gone now. Three altars. Those doctor's orders. It's a blood moon. Those appear on the map now. You got it. Oh, that might be what that other skull thing was. Oh, two. I've seen a couple of altars around before. Something here. Let's just keep exploring. Check slice. They go down. <clears throat> oh, well. We're walking over here. Let's not walk over here.
We got we got plenty of black root. I don't even remember what it's used for. I've spotted something. Might be spotted something, I don't see it. seek yet? Go one. Have a look. You know what I'm looking for. Come back to me if you've found the little corpse related book I seek yet. Alright, well, she wants one that uh, explosion. Corpse explosions. Behind or go th talk to this troll. Level 18, 15,000 hit points. We won't be able to take him on, but maybe he'll play nice. The spirit peers up at you intently, an obsessive focus clear in her manic eyes. Trolls! Do you know a fascinating thing about trolls? I know all of them. I can tell you anything you need to know about trolls. My life's work has been documenting them. My life's work. Almost every single troll I encountered in my life has one elemental weakness that puts a halt to their uncanny regenerative abilities. Imagine. Oh, fascinating, isn't it? But of course, every specimen has their own quirks, their own petty foibles. And I pushed my curiosity too far with one particularly huge and crimson troll. But it's perfect. Now I can observe him in total safety. That's a she? Sounds like a guy. Uh, let's go one. I know, right? I mean, what else should occupy a life as well as troll studies? I'm really furthering the accepted learning we have on them. Nothing like some purpose in life. I didn't use this at that altar. Kind of far away from it. Only beta trolls hide under bridges. Need to. We ain't got no choice. Move forward. Back off, pigeon! This is my bridge, and I don't suffer fools on it. The enormous, unusually red troll looms over you with his fists clenched threateningly. His expression is stern, yet you can see the tiniest twinkle in his intelligent eyes. Didn't hear me the first time, parrot! Only two levels down, he's gonna destroy us, but we might be able to CC him. Go to. He smiles a jagged and magnanimous grin. Each pitchfork pointed tooth seems to threaten you individually. We'll see. You want to cross my bridge? Go to. Well, I killed them. 
Nobody crosses my bridge for free, and they didn't pay the toll. Mind you, they hadn't tongues to bargain with, nor pockets for coin. But still, a troll must stand by his principles. <laughs> uh, let's go to... He rubs his leathery hands together with glee. <laughs> sure, sure. One regular priced bridge crossing coming right up. 5,000. Get out of here, man. And I don't want to hear any whiny little baby noises about it either. Let's go, five. His eyes narrow to glinting slits, and a deep laugh shakes his whole frame. <laughs> there is one thing. The competition. Take out my competition, and I could waive the usual fee. Let's go two. That's a little non-committal. But I'll take what I can get around here. Grog drags a rough map in the dust of the bridge with one claw. He then spends an inordinate amount of time sketching a highly vulgar doodle of this Marge he wants you to take care of. There. Now, for the moment, you'll need to back off. No pay, no stay. Hey. Bulls are dangerous. I haven't been over here before. Pretty close to the other spot, but... I really wish this was just active 100% of the time. Pretty irritating having to recast it. It's pretty irritating missing things because you have to recast it. Uh, let's see if this activates now. Does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. I don't remember where the other bridge troll was. here oh, yeah those bears hey Marge what do you want you did oh Hello there. A fine day it is. And the finest day for a wee saunter through the trees it is too. Not even any void woken left to spoil it. Uh, three? Oh, just the best. Just the bee's knees, really. But I've made more money today than in the last month combined. Thanks to a group of magisters who are in such a hurry. They didn't have time to haggle. Go to. Isn't a healthy business environment just wonderful? Grog and his pathetic bridge give me just the little kick of competition I need to improve my service. And increase my prices. Marge bats his eyelashes at you. You can't quite tell whether he's serious or not. Go on. Hey, what? After all we've been through together. Truly, who has the finer bridge here? You should be working on eliminating the weakest link. Which, in case it isn't crystal clear, is Grog. I agree. Well, good. If you're not a paying customer... 
Okay. <laughs> Marge the troll is a seemingly nicer troll. Uh, level 18, though. Level 18, though. The spirit of a young man stands before you. From his aura, you can tell that he was a sorcerer. For one? You are a sorcerer, fleeing the magisters in Driftwood. Hungry, you come upon a pair of honey bears. The bears do not attack, so you try to steal their honey. And, ouch, you are stung to death by bees. Huge, hideous, void-woken bees. Stinging pain consumes you as the bees attack you, and the honey bears too. The bears survive, but are tainted. You die in agony. The bees die as bees must do after unleashing their stings. The honey bears eat the bees. Okay, so the bears are evil bears. Means we need to kill the bears. The Bernstein bears. Got the full. Alright, you hang back. Up over here. Your vision. Excellent. Move up over here. Your vision. Decent. Oh, I wish I had all my air skills back. But that's the woes of life. You want some honey? Yeah, come on, dude. Yeah, give me some money. No? Please. Hey, okay. I gotta talk to you. The honey, bog off. It's the best honey ever. The honey, bog. Hmm. Okay, well. Kill the bears! Kill the bears! Go to sleep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's go after this bear. Keep them busy. Nice crit.
Just any turn. Get that opportunity attack. Closer. Infected. I don't think I've seen infected. Cool. Dead bears. Dead evil bear. Okay, so I can get around that bridge. Which means that bridge is just silly. Our Vaughn. We're just going. Not quite the outcome I was hoping for. Right, you can go up there. Here. Hmm. Seems someone's been digging rather hastily. Yeah, what do we got? Something isn't right here. Got that right. Party members. Get over here. Get over here too. Oh no, poison! Else discovered? But I heard the sparkly sign of other things being discovered. Because it doesn't appear on alt. Can't quite tell. Okay, so I'm gonna put you far back and hope for the best. I have a feeling all those enemies are gonna spawn over there. Oh, you know. You go over here. Right, and you can spread out over. Here. Oh, there's another spot over here. Means we're going to be fighting a lot of dudes. And actually, with that in mind... I don't think I want to do this just yet. 
Especially with all of his air skills gone. Um, what we'll do is we'll just teleport one person. 